Hello all, welcome to the scripting Wi-Fi pen testing tools in Python series at Pentester Academy. Now in this video, I'll show you how to code up a deauthentication tool using Scapy. Now going back to the wireless security 101, a deauthentication packet or deauth as it's popularly called goes ahead and disconnects a client AP pair. Now, deauth packets can be broadcast, which is typically when the access point sends it to all connected clients and tells them to basically deauthenticate and maybe reconnect. Uh, or unicast, which is either sent from a client to an AP or an AP to a client. Now, the aftermath of a deauth attack is pretty much instant disconnection. Uh, it is al almost always used as a DOS attack and is a very potent attack in the sense that you'd pretty much not have clients being able to connect to an access point while a deauth attack is ongoing. So you might have used tools like Air Replay NG to go ahead and conduct a deauth attack. In this video, Let's look at how to write a deauth attack tool in just four or five lines of Scapy. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to call this the deauthentication.py tool. Let's go ahead import sys so that we can take command line arguments. Then we'll do an import or rather from scapy.all import star. Now, if we were to monitor our access point, let's say the one I've set up on channel 11, right, called totally secure. This is the one which I've set up. I'm connected to right now as well. And I can ping Google right from my access point, right? Let the pinging continue. Now I would probably feed the MAC address of the AP as an input. And in this version of the deauth tool, I'm going to create a broadcast deauthentication packet. The unicast one is pretty much on exactly the same lines and I leave it as an exercise to you. Now a broadcast deauth packet is sent from the access point to the broadcast address, which means address one or the destination MAC would be all Fs. The sender MAC would be the access points MAC and of course the BSSID would also be the AP's MAC. So with this, let's go ahead and build the tool. So let's define a variable called the broadcast MAC or BRD MAC. Let me fill that in with all Fs. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Now let me create our packet. We have the radio tap header first. Nothing needs to be modified in here, of course. Then we have the dot 11 header. And all I really care about in this are the addresses. So ADDR1, the destination MAC would be PRD MAC. ADDR2 would be sys.argv1, which is the AP MAC, which we will enter as input and addr3 would also be sys.argv1, right? Then it tells KP that this is a .11 dauth packet. Now once you do this, KP automatically would fill up the type, subtype and all of that for you. Now after this, we need to send this packet. We want to send it on layer two. So we use send p packet and then after that you have the interface on which you want to send this. Mon zero, I'm hard coding it. Then the number of packets to send, let's say a pretty large number. And then the inter packet time. And there we go. And that's all is required to program a broadcast deauthentication attack tool using Scapy. So let's actually do a quick demo. We need the MAC address of the AP. 
that's the AP we are currently connected to, totally secure. Paste it and before I run, we'll keep monitoring the pings seem to be working fine. Started the deauth attack and if you notice the ping has stopped. Now Mac or many operating systems actually do not show a disconnection immediately. Uh, you know, but right now you're already seeing it's trying to reconnect, right? So if we stop the attack, go back in here. Right, my Mac is trying to reconnect. It's established a connection. And again, the ping packets go through comfortably. We start the DAuth attack again. And there you go. We disconnect the client. Now, keep in mind, broadcast DAuths are pretty powerful. Uh, in a hotspot environment, you could pretty much have most clients getting disconnected. And this could cause loss of communication because of the DOS attack. Right, and right now you're almost seeing how incredibly powerful Scapy is that it pretty much allowed us to uh, create a deauthentication attack tool in less than 10 lines. Right, fantastic. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Try out the deauthentication tool, and if you're enjoying your time at Pen Tester Academy then please do recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.